Hey friends, it's Kerstin here and today I want to talk about anxiety when eating out. So um, I know a lot of you probably feel anxious when they have to go out and eat at a restaurant. Maybe they go out with a friend or, uh, or with a family member and they're super nervous because they don't know what's in this food, how much there's going to be, um, is there going to be anything that fits in your diet and so on and so on. So. Uh, the reason why it came up, this topic, was that actually the other day my colleague texted me and asked if I would like to go out with him and to discuss some uh, work things and, and grab some lunch. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go. And he was like, where would you like to go? And I didn't feel like anything in particular. And I was like, you know what, why don't you decide? Because I'm not in the mood for like anything super special right now. And then I realized that it wasn't always like that. And years ago, here's how things would have been. So first of all, I would have had, I, I would always want to be the one who decides where to go. And I would always prefer the, uh, a place where I don't have to eat. I'll pick a place where I can only get away with having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or just like sparkling water because then I wouldn't have to consume any calories and I would know exactly what I'm getting. So if there was a different scenario, so maybe we ha it's, it's a lunch, we know that it's going to be a lunch, then I would have to be the one who's picking the place. And I would go to familiar places where I know what exactly they serve, how many calories are in these foods and, and what we get. And then I would say, we are going there. If I did not have the option of choosing where we're going, I would do my best to find out where are we going? I would ask this person, where exactly are we going? So I can go and Yelp and look up what that place is about, what are the lowest calorie options, what are the things that perfectly fit in my diet? And so then we would go there. And sometimes the place that they ended up cho choosing would be something where I'd be like, there's absolutely nothing to eat here, nothing. And I would turn into like a complete food bitch. I would be like, not gonna have anything. Or I would, I would order something because it would be too weird if I didn't order anything. But it, I would just like sit there and think how terrible this food is for me. And I, I would not be able to eat it. And things are so, so much different now because I've changed the entire mindset around food. And I want to share with you a couple of tips on how you can get started with being more relaxed around food and have less anxiety when you are uh, going out to eat. So I've taken a couple of notes for myself. So the first thing I want to mention is that know that there's something to eat when, wherever you go something to it wherever you go and it doesn't mean that's always the perfect the best option ever it's going to be the healthiest the best thing the best massage kale salad or the best like super uh clean um grass-fed beef or whatever yes these things are ideal they would be great to have but not all places have them however you can always find something that's reasonable even if you are going to i don't know fast food place a lot of fast food, pla food places still have, you know, salads or some vegetables. Most of them do. And you can have that and you don't have to eat like the, you don't have to eat the Big Mac meal or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what's, what is there because I, I usually don't go to McDonald's. I almost never go there, but I can see that in most places there's something you can choose and don't get worried if it's not perfect because perfect does not exist. And all is going to happen is you're going to get so pissed off. You're going to get so annoyed. Uh, that you're not eating anything and that's that's not what you want to do. So the th second thing is that I want you to think about it this way. It's only one meal, right? So you are eating in one week, you're probably eating like 25 to 40 meals, isn't it? So what harm is one meal going to do to you? Nothing, right? So you may think, oh, it doesn't have perfect like uh, macro ratios or it doesn't have uh, this number of calories and how many calories I have left after eating this one. It's just one meal. And the next meal is going to be different, right? If this is something really, if this meal was really something that was terrible and you hated it and you did like how it tasted and was like, there's like too much fat or whatever, that's okay, really, that's really fine. Moving on to the next thing, having the next meal, everything will be fine. Okay. Next thing I want to mention is that try to really enjoy what you're having. So a lot of times you're just like sitting there and being so anxious that you, you, you get up later and you're like, I don't even know how it tasted because I was so nervous eating it and I was so anxious and it, it was just horrible. So this is not 
a good place to be in because to absorb the nutrients better, to help your digestion work best, you need to be calm down and enjoy your meal as much as possible, right? Because if you're so stressed out, if you're so anxious, there's absolutely no way. You maybe not even realize that this food actually tasted good and you're definitely not helping your body do, to do the digestion work well. It's just not going to happen. And the last point I wanted to say is actually pay attention to who you're talking to, what the conversation is about, what your, what your partner or your coworker or whoever you're having this meal with is telling you. I have been there where I've been sitting there and just thinking, oh my God, there's so many this and that in this plate. How many calories is that? I re even remember that when I was in Weight Watchers and it's so crazy because it was over 10 years ago, but I still remember that one tablespoon of peas gave you half a point. And I was like, how many of these tablespoons are on this plate? Like, I'm trying to like eyeball it. Is it this much or this much? How many points is that? No wonder that I didn't hear anything that people around me were saying. This is a big BS. You don't want it. You don't want that to happen. So try to stay present. Try to enjoy your meal. And also listen what people around you are talking because otherwise you went out with them and you have no idea what the conversation was about. Okay, these are my tips for you today. Let me know if this was helpful and let me know if you want more tips like that. And uh, I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.